I'll take it from here. Day two, the DNC, ABC's Jacqueline Lee has the latest from the United Center in Chicago. The energy during night two of the Democratic convention was at a fever pitch. A cameo filled ceremonial roll call of the states transformed into a massive party. Standing among politicians included appearances by a bunch of celebrities, including rapper Lil Jon with a surprise performance. DNC, turn out for what? Harrison Walls accepted the ceremonial nomination from a packed rally 80 miles away in Milwaukee, in the same arena where Donald Trump accepted the Republican nomination last month. We are so honored to be your nominees. I'll see you in two days, Chicago. Taking the stage back in Chicago, Harris's husband, Doug Emhoff, telling personal stories of how his wife takes her job as stepmother seriously. She's always been there for our children and I know she'll always be there for yours, too. Kamala is a joyful warrior. Then Michelle Obama took the stage to make the case for a Harris presidency. Kamala Harris is more than ready for this moment. She is one of the most qualified people ever to seek the office of the presidency. And she is one of the most dignified. While calling out former President Trump. Who's going to tell him that the job he's currently seeking might just be one of those black jobs? Former President Obama closing out the night. We do not need four more years of bluster and bumbling and chaos. We have seen that movie before. And we all know that the sequel is usually worse. And later tonight, we're going to hear from former President Bill Clinton, as well as former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. They will be speaking before VP nominee Tim Walls. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, Chicago.